Hey, what's going on everyone? So I got a quick word for you guys. It looks like time is ticking. I tell you what, you look at everything that's going on in the world, it definitely looks like time is ticking. And I hope that you're not afraid. I hope that you're not scared because with all of the bad news, I got some excellent news for you. Let me show you some uh, facts from across the world. Uh, interestingly enough, Mexico, they're talking about these green and blue lights that they've seen in the sky. I'm just gonna share the news with you real quick. Mexico record, recorded the greatest earthquake, at 8.1 magnitude since 1985. They've had 20 aftershocks at 4.0. Uh, the power was cut off to 1.8 million people. They felt buildings swaying as far as a thousand miles away. California and Nevada have also had like close to 100. But Mexico, this is the news. They said it's the greatest one, 8.1 since 1985. Then we had Hurricane Harvey, obviously, in Houston. Now what the news is saying, it's like um, they've never seen nothing like this before where you have three active hurricanes, all right, and one of them being recorded at a Category 5, which is like the strongest that they've ever seen. Three, they said this is the news saying that they've never seen anything like this. An earthquake with that magnitude in Mexico in 10 years and three hurricanes active at the same time. All right, and then one of them being a category five. And then with also that, there's tsunami warnings because of all these things that are going on. There's 78 large wildfires in Western states, 78 wildfires all over the place. The worst floods, this is the news, this isn't Marcus Rogers' words. The worst floods to hit South Asia in a decade killed more than 1,400 people in India, Nepal, and Bangladesh. This is, this is the news saying we've never seen anything like this. What is going on? That's not Marcus Rogers' words, that's the news. Well, what does the Bible say about that? Luke 21 and 25, there will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and the earth, distress of nations and perplexity of the roaring seas and the waves. Saying people are going to be like, what's going on because of what's going on in the seas and the waves? Luke 21 and 11, there will be great earthquakes in various places, famine, pestilence, and in this there will be terrors and great signs from heavens. Matthew 24, 7, for nation will rise against nation. We already see that. North Korea, America, Russia, and kingdom against kingdom. And we already see that with the different wars going on inside of our country. Country. And there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. Luke 21, 28. Look to the skies for our redemption draweth nigh. When you see these things happening, look up to the skies for our redemption draweth nigh. Remember what I said about the news. They said we've never seen no weather like this. We've never seen an earthquake like this in Mexico. And they also seen these green and blue lights in the sky. And the Bible said there will be weird signs in the sky. There's people recording sounds of trumpets in Israel and all over the world. They're saying they're hearing something. And the news, the science they're trying to have an explanation for everything well you know those lights that they see in mexico right now you know that's those are earthquake lights no it's a sign from god it's a sign from god to, that it's time to repent second peter 3 3 through 4 whatever we continue to, uh, we're, we're seeing these things forever and then second thessalonians rebellion comes first and then lawlessness lawlessness i didn't write down the whole verse go read second uh, peter 3 3 through 4 and second thessalonians it says rebellion will come first and the lawlessness lawlessness will be revealed and then also we have the false prophets arising man we've got everybody saying hey check it out i'm a prophet i got a word from god i'm i'm anointed everybody on social media even in the churches they're saying they're a prophet and they've got a word from god and they're watering down the gospel they're compromising they're leading people astray they're leading people away from the church they're leading uh, uh, people away from having a real sincere relationship with god and the problem is people are so dependent on the media and the news for all of their information not realizing that the uh, media news they have an agenda they want to shape the way that you think well mark why is that important? How do you think that they're going to make the Antichrist look appealing to you? How do you think that you're going to be deceived? They're going to plant the thoughts. Understand that the news and the media, they're owned by some rich people, right? There's somebody at the top. So the news is really just their Facebook page. They're going to post whatever they want to post to shape and influence the way that you think. Look at the news. Go to Yahoo News today and look up the earthquake with Mexico. They said that's the strongest one in 10 years. It's greater than the last one they had 10 years ago. Ten, uh, 8.1, the last Last one was like 8.0 set over 70 wildfires breaking out all across America there's flooding not only in Houston there's flooding over there in, in, in Asia they say the greatest flooding uh, tsunamis there's warning of tsunamis what is the earth saying right now the earth is saying listen up 
Jesus is soon to return. Listen up, I'm giving you warnings through the weather that it's time to repent. This, is, this isn't Marcus Rogers saying this kind of stuff. This isn't even Christian saying this stuff. The news is saying we've never seen an earthquake this size. We've never seen three hurricanes uh, forming and, and coming across the land. This is the news, not religious people, not Bible scholars. You better wake up and get serious about your relationship with God. God is giving you all the time in the world, but we're so arrogant that we think, oh, you know, the, the Bible even says, one of these verses that I read, I want you to look it up. Yeah, 2 Peter 3 and 4, the one that I I messed up that verse says that they're gonna say we've been continuing like this since the beginning of time pretty much saying that they're gonna mock you for saying Jesus is coming soon and so you guys have been saying he's coming forever and forever but the earth is continuing just like it always has that's second Peter 3 and uh, 3 through 3 uh, through 4 this is not but this is not Bible scholars we see everything we see kingdoms rising against kingdoms. We see powers of this earth fighting against one another. Everybody's joining a group. The Bible talks about the wheats and the tares. All right, there's coming a, a great separation. God is about to separate the real from the fake. He's giving you warnings now through the weather. You can't say it's not a warning when the Bible said these signs will happen. So look up to the sky. That means when you see the hurricane, when you see the earthquakes, when you see all these weird things happening, God is saying, wake up, wake up, wake up. I'm soon to return. I'm giving you a chance to get right. I told you in my word. I told you in the Bible it was going to happen. I'm giving you a chance to repent. I'm giving you a chance to turn away from your sins. I'm giving you a chance to get serious about your relationship with God. Why? Because casual Christians will be the first casualties. And then what I read in the other verse, 2 Thessalonians, it says the rebellion will be revealed first. And then it says lawlessness will be revealed. Look at all the hatred, division, and fighting in the streets. Look at all the world star videos and media takeout videos of young people fighting each other. No respect for teachers fighting in the classroom, hurting each other. I just seen some young kid had knocked some 40-year-old uh, guy out and just killed him. The world is lawless. Every Everybody's got opinion. Everybody wants to speak and say what they believe and there's no fear for God. Everybody, every power wants to rise up. You better wake up. God is giving you a chance. He's giving you a sign. People, people are saying, man, you, you're going to wake up one day and stand before the throne and what excuse are you going to have? Because everything that is happening was in the Bible. He said, look up to the sky, but you're not looking up to the sky. You're looking at your social media. You're looking at the news. You're looking at CNN. You're looking at politics. You're worried about skin color. You're worried about black power. You're worried about white power. You're worried about the things of the world. When the Bible says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, you better wake up. God is giving, time is ticking. Time is ticking, baby. Time is ticking. You can sit there and say, oh, they've been saying this forever and ever and ever. They've been saying for, you know, years and years he's coming. Remember time, God exists out of time and space. He created time and space. Time and space does not contain God. That's why, you know, a day to us is not the same to him. An hour to us, a year to us, it's not the same. He's not, he's outside of time and space. We can't even comprehend God, but we try to put God in this box. So we so arrogantly think, oh, we, we got all the time in the world to get right. Jesus is coming soon, but check this out. Tomorrow's not promised to anyone. You might not even make it to see Jesus return. This world is like just in chaos right now because the earth knows, the earth is crying out that its creator is coming. I'm telling you, the news, Go. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you, but look at the news. Don't take my word for it, go look it up. They're saying we've never seen nothing like this. Three hurricanes, Big, and, and think about the timing of it. Go. They said the greatest floods to hit Asia in 10 years, the greatest earthquake earthquake to hit Mexico in 10 years. And then as far as the hurricanes in America, we've never seen nothing like it. Come on, man. That's not Bible scholar. That's not religious people talking. That's the scientists. You better wake up. You better wake up. Try to win as many souls as you can. Realize what's important. You sitting there chasing happiness. You sitting there fighting, getting bitter and being depressed over stupid stuff that has no value. The Bible says, what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his own soul? You worried about, and I'm not saying you use wisdom and everything, but don't let your main focus be, I got to be happy in this life. I got to get a paycheck. I got to get this promotion. Souls are the heartbeat of God. That is what God cares about more than anything else. Jesus Christ literally came down and died for souls. He didn't die so you could have a big paycheck. He didn't die so you could have a great marriage. He died for souls. That's what is at stake. The enemy is fighting for souls. He's trying to deceive and distract people and keep division through the media outlets. The only truth that we can really find is in this word of God. How can you expect to survive on this battlefield if you never pick up your sword? How can you expect to be victorious? The Bible says, 
says, faith cometh by hearing the word of God. And the Bible says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. So if you have no faith, you won't survive. If you're not sold out, you're going to sell out. A casual Christian will be a casualty. You say that you would die for God, but you're not living for him. You say that you would die for God, but you won't even die to self and read the Bible. You're too lazy to. You won't even die to self and forgive those people who hurt you. You won't even die to self and put your pride to the side and be a peacemaker. But you say that you will die for God. No, my friend, when things get real, if ISIS was to come over here and persecute you, if the government was to turn on us, if they said you can't um go get groceries and food, you can't feed your family, if you're proclaiming the name of Jesus, you would sell out and some of you would be like, Peter, I will never do it. I will never deny the Lord. And what did Peter do? He did it. But what is at stake? It's your soul. Tick tock, tick tock, tick. Time is ticking. You better get right. Don't say that God didn't love you. Don't say that God didn't warn you. Don't say that he didn't give you chances. Every time a hurricane comes through, that's a chance for you to get right. Every time you see something in news that is confirmed and confirmed in the Bible, that's a chance for you to get right and repent. It is your choice to ignore the warning and say, I'm going to keep on doing me. I'm not going to humble myself and follow the word of God. That is your choice. So when you stand before the throne of God, you can't look to the left and the right. There won't be nobody's opinion over there. You won't be able to say, God, I didn't serve you. I didn't follow you. I didn't submit because, oh, this person told me how I, ha I had more time. I didn't serve you because this person broke my heart. So I was bitter. I was trying to heal. I didn't serve you because I wasn't happy. So I kept fornicating and jumping in different relationships. I, I, I didn't serve you because I didn't feel I was clean enough. I was in this process. Hey. Just because you think you in a process is not going to stop God from cracking that sky. That's an excuse. That's an excuse. Because it's the Bible says, choose ye this day. From the moment you started watching this video, choose you this day whom you will serve. As for me, I'm going to serve the Lord. <laughs> Some of us are so used to hearing that God is coming back. Check this out. The only thing I want you to take away from this video, if you don't remember nothing else I said, the news is saying we've never seen nothing like this. People saying, oh, all of this stuff the Bible's talking about, it's been happening, blah, blah, blah. They're saying we've never seen nothing like this. In politics, in the weather, and what's going on in the streets with the racial tension, never seen it. You better wake up. Share this video because I guarantee you there's somebody on your timeline who can watch this video and it'll be the difference between them giving, going to heaven or hell. It'll be the difference between them saying, man, I need to wake up. I, I haven't really been thinking about it like that. I need to get a relationship with God. You just sharing this video could change someone's life. I love you guys. Be blessed in Jesus' name.